HyperX loved my review of the HyperX Duocast microphone, so they sent over the Quadcast S in white for me to check out and review. To begin, I just want to announce that I am recording on the HyperX Duocast microphone and we will swap to a live test of the Quadcast S in the middle of this video. So unlike the Duocast microphone that has two polar patterns, the Quadcast S has four polar patterns. You have a stereo pattern, you have a cardioid pattern, you have an omnidirectional pattern, and you have a bidirectional pattern. Pattern? Pattern. <laughs> so this microphone allows you to capture all kinds of different audio in different ways. The four patterns are broken down for different types of content. The stereo pattern is good for recording things like vocals or instruments. Omnidirectional is suitable for multi-person recording, such as podcasts or conference calls that are in the same room, where you would have people surrounding the microphone. Cardioid, which is our favorite pattern as streamers, is good for front-on recording, such as streams, podcasts, any kind of voice recording where you are sitting in front or next to the microphone. And then there's bi-directional, which is great for things like face-to-face -face interviews. So just from these four polar patterns alone, the Quadcast S becomes a great choice for different kinds of creators and different kinds of scenarios. So now we come to the unboxing and what you get inside the box is pretty simple, yet so stunning. Inside the box, you get the stunning microphone itself, which is mounted into the shock mount and the stand. You also get a white braided USB-C to USB-A cable and also a white mount adapter. Now one thing I want to mention is the mount adapter only lets you mount to certain objects or boom arms with a specific thread size, so I'm going to list them on the screen. Why I want to bring this up because in my previous Duocast mic review, a lot of you were asking what boom arm I use. And I have the Elgato Wave Arm Low Profile, which is not actually compatible with these microphones. So I've strategically placed this microphone mount onto the arm. It doesn't screw in properly. It kind of just sits there um, and it stays in place, but with a bump or a knock, it will fall off. So I do want to advise you guys, if you are wanting to buy this arm for either the Duocast or the Quadcast, don't do it because it isn't solid if you are careful then by all means but you have been warned uh yeah i just wanted to put that out there anyway back to the beauty that is the quadcast s microphone the design looks absolutely beautiful in the white and what i like about the quadcast is that the rgb lights light up inside of the mesh of the mic unlike the duo cast here that has an rgb ring around the base the mic looks to be screwed into the shock mount unlike the duo cast which you can actually remove from the shock mount it's much taller, which makes sense given the fact that it has double the amount of polar patterns than the Duocast. There is still a tap to mute button up the top, and this time I'll remember not to bash the damn thing. <laughs> In my Duocast review, I did press it a bit too hard so you could hear it, so we will make sure we don't press it as hard this time. The metal base to the shock mount is pretty solid and heavy, and this makes me think that the mic will definitely stay in place and balanced on your desk if you decide not to mount it to a boom arm. But for me, I much prefer to have it on a boom arm. It's cleaner, it's easier to bring closer to my face, and I just think it looks better. So I will still lean towards the cardioid pattern with this microphone because the content I make is just talking to the camera. My microphone is right next to me. So I don't have a lot of opportunity to use something like an omnidirectional or bidirectional pattern. I definitely won't use stereo because I'm not recording vocals or instruments. I'm not a singer, I'm not a musician. But maybe in the future, if I do come into a scenario where I have people in this room or we are in a space where I have to record multiple voices, at least I have the option to create some different kinds of audio capture with the bi-directional and the omnidirectional pattern too. So now that the features are out of the way, it's time to set up the Quadcast S. I'm going to set it up on my boom arm and we're going to do a live test and see how it sounds. Obviously this video so far I've recorded through the Duocast. So let's swap it out and hear what the audio sounds like through the Quadcast S.
this is a live test of a HyperX microphone. I use this mic to capture voiceovers for my YouTube videos as well as live stream games over on Twitch. This is another test of a HyperX microphone. So again, I use this for capturing my voiceovers for YouTube videos as well as live streaming on Twitch. Can I just say, this looks so pretty. Oh my God, these lights are so good. Ah, anyway. Let's quickly test out the mute button. So I'm going to keep talking and I'm going to hit mute. Are you going to be able to hear me now or what about now? So I don't really think there's going to be differences between the cardioid patterns on both microphones. That's my prediction. The technology is pretty much the same. It's just whether or not this can capture more or if it's more high res, I'm not quite sure but I don't really have the right ways to test out the stereo or the bi-directional and omnidirectional patterns because it's not the kind of content I make, but I could probably flick it over to bi-directional stereo and also omnidirectional and see how it sounds. So let's do that. Okay, this is the bi-directional mode. Um, not really sure how it's going to sound. We will see towards the end. This is the omnidirectional pattern. Again, this will do a 360 loop. I don't have anyone around here. It might be able to pick up my PC sound though. That will be interesting to tell. Uh, but yeah, we will see how it sounds at the end. And this pattern is the stereo pattern. Hello. <laughs> Coming into the video mid edit. I can't really hear much of a difference between the modes. Although the omnidirectional definitely does kind of pick up a little bit of extra noise from what I'm listening to. The stereo sounds good if you talk like directly into the mic. So if you're like right up, well not right up in there, but front facing, that sounded okay. But I'm still, still can't really hear much of a difference. And again, it's based on what kind of content I'm making. I'm obviously on my own sitting in front of the microphone recording. So I can't really test it properly. So there we have it guys, that is my review of the HyperX Quadcast S microphone in white. I'm actually quite impressed with the mic. Overall, aesthetically, it is stunning, especially the like gradient of the RGB lights through the mesh. But it's nice that there is a variety of different patterns for different audiences like I mentioned earlier. I will definitely lean towards the cardioid pattern, obviously, but I do think it's a great option for many different creators. Price point, I think it's, it's around the $300 Australian price point from what I can see online. So I'll leave a couple of places below where you should be able to pick this up. It's definitely on the higher end of pricing, but then again, it's not just like a microphone with one polar pattern, it has four. So there is a reason as to why it's a little bit more expensive. And the design is premium, like the build quality is really, really good. It's solidly sealed into that shock mount via screws. And even the plastic just feels great too, and the metal on the base. So it definitely is a winner in my books. I think if you're starting out, the Duo Cast is definitely a great buy for an entry level sort of microphone. But if you are a bit more experienced and do want a bit more variety, this will be the next one to pick up for sure. Thank you so much to HyperX for sending over the mic for me again to review. I've had a lot of fun checking out your microphones. As someone who has never used HyperX before, it's definitely very impressive to see what you guys have on the market. So thank you so much. And to you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it helped you. I appreciate all the love you gave me on the Duocast review. So please send some over on this video and definitely subscribe to the channel for more content. But for now, I will see you in my next video. Bye.